The next tab I wanted to cover is going to be the reports tab. This is basically going to be beneficial for creating reports, whether it be financial reports, marketing reports, sales reports, um, to see how your store or group of stores are performing on the DoorDash platform. These reports are downloaded in a CSV format, so you can put into either a Google Sheet or you can put it into a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. But from this tab, you would click the Create a Report button found in the top right corner. From here, you're going to select what type of report you want to create. So a financial report will house the transactions, the payouts, canceled orders, error charges. Operational report will look at your order accuracy, your cancellation rate, wait time, product mix. Sales report will look at total sales, total orders, average ticket size. And then the marketing report will look at your campaign details and performance. If you have sponsored listings, those will be included there as well. So if you're looking for financials, I would recommend using the financial report. It's going to have all the transaction breakdown as well as the payout breakdowns. So in this example, we'll select financial report and click next. Once on this screen, in the top right corner, you will see a summary of the report. So it auto populates to some details and it will show you here what would be created if you were to go to the very bottom and click create a report. So from here, you can do a one-time report or you can schedule a recurring report that is created on whatever cadence that you set up. So you can do it on a weekly basis or monthly. So we do a one-time report from here. You can do by payout date or date range. Given this is a test store, the payout date doesn't have a drop down, but with your store, rest assured, there would be data here showing a payout date that you can select from. For date range though, you can select your choice of how far back you wanna go compared to the most recent date that you're looking at the merchant portal and creating this report. And then down here at the very bottom, Transactions overview is just going to provide you an overview, a high level overview of the transactions, pretty much consolidating all of it into one row. The transactions breakdown will provide a itemized report of every transaction showing figures like subtotal, your tax, your commission, any error charges, and then if there are debits or credits associated. And then air charges and adjustments kind of speaks for itself. It'll be just a report isolated solely showing the air charges or adjustments that are made for your store. And then of course, payouts will show any payouts that occurred during this day range. So once you like everything that's set up, you would just click create a report. Um, again, since this is a test store, it's not really going to have a whole bunch of details for us, but it'll take you back to this page where you will see the action is loading. Once it's finalized, you will see something like this with the download button. Additionally, as well, you will receive an email to the email address that you're logged in as, notifying you that the report is ready for download with a download link available as well.